welcome back to my channel now just a reminder i managed to find lessons and blessings in every situation that i encounter mark you i may fail to see things around me that i should be thankful for especially if i am going through something stressful but you bet i'm going to reflect on it and eventually see the good in it a series of events recently has brought back pleasant memories of my past and I'm about to share with you highlights of a few of them. I'm going to start with my visit to Mona University campus where I have worked for 22 years and attended the university where I completed two degrees and a diploma. I cannot describe the feeling I was having walking on that campus and entering the building of my former office. They were the memories of us co-workers being a family. The feeling almost overwhelmed me. I truly did not appreciate this for what it was at the time because of personal difficulties I was facing. But when I changed career and moved on from there, I really miss the feeling of togetherness and support that I had through my tenure at that office. No, I have no clue why I passed the elevator and decided to take the stairs. Because even though I knew I should, I hardly ever take the stairs. Look at me go. Pretending like I am fit. I was ducking from a troublemaker that I didn't want to see me. <laughs> there we are, finally. Ta da! Now I have to catch my breath. Mrs. SS. New boss lady, same family vibes. So this was my old desk. This was my old area, the area I was. Yeah, I'm going to come in on my video, Shani. Yeah. <laughs> when you have husband, you can climb up on him truck. See there? And pick plum for you in the night. If you don't have husband, you can't do that. You're not saying nothing. Pass the plum on my hand, see my hand here. Don't make it happen. No. I'm going to put on them here and come back. Mm -hmm. See them? Not nice plum. Come back. Come <laughs> here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One job. Wow. Alright, come to cut it. Don't be greedy. Huh? Don't be greedy, come. Okay. <laughs> okay. You see that right one there now? See that one the way it does speak? Yeah. Nice. Here you go. Okay. Abe? 
<laughs> now where will I be going on a date later? Mystery. Mystery is over. Now let me share a learning moment with you. I was the queen of the skating ring in my community in my younger days. I have not been on roller skates for over 20 years and I got this brilliant idea to go on a skating date on the public holiday. The feeling was nostalgic as I sat there putting on my shoes and I almost cried when I stepped into the ring. Good tears though. Get up now. I realized that I was not enjoying this as I thought that I would. Then I noticed that this was because I was afraid of falling during the learning process. The moment I decided to take some fall is the exact moment that I started to enjoy my time and actually started to remember a little bit of about skating. Five big falls later, I was able to skate a little without holding onto the rails. But my cameraman was too far away to capture that. But that's okay. Yay! One round without falling. My husband was having more difficulties remembering how to skate because he said he was too tall to fall because he would fall from too high. word for you today is don't be afraid of falling or failing especially when pursuing something you want to do that you really really want to do you may not even fall but if you do just get back up and continue to enjoy the journey enjoy the rest of mine with me
finally. Mash up my friend.